because um, we're going to always keep each other razor sharp. You know, we always want to, um, you know, stay on each other about any and everything. Um, I mean, but it, I mean, it's so weird that you guys making a big deal of it now because we always been like that. It's just you guys finally got a chance to see all of us play. Cardell, so uh, I really don't know what else extra to say about the competition because, like I said before, it's always been a competition in that room. But the Cardell genie is sort of out of the bottle now. Nobody had seen that until uh, Wisconsin. You understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, Cardell? I mean, yeah, you know, I it's like that, how hard is it to – not hard. I mean, I mean, you want to play as much as anybody else, right? Right, and not just me. JT want to play as much as anybody else. Yeah. Braxton want to play. Uh, Steven want to play. The, the Steven genie is still in the, in the bottle. So the competition, it, it runs way deeper than us <laughs> three, trust me. Are you saying – so – the competition is always there. You're saying basically to you guys it's not that different because right, everybody yeah. always wanted to start? Just yeah. because guys got hurt or guys have been in different situations, you feel like competition is the same it's always been? Yeah, of course. I mean, we, we all got better over the years and over practices and over camp. But, I mean, we always compete with each other. You know, it's not like, oh, Braxton to start or JT to start. Let me just chill and not, you know, prepare like a starter or um, compete with them. You know, we always go push each other. Well, what is it like for you, though? You're, you're now, last spring, you know, you and JT were taking, kind of swapping snaps, I think, and stuff. And, mm -hmm. But now you're the guy, at, for the first time here, who's the primary guy in the spring. <laughs> I mean, in the practice and stuff. How, how has that changed for you? Don't get hurt. No, it's <laughs> fine. Uh, it, just, it just, you know, gave me a lot of more opportunity to um, take the first team reps, to um, get familiar with them young guys that we got. You know, replacing them for guys like Devin, uh, Devin Smith, Evan Spencer, and just having that that foot up on them, not over the quarterback competition, just to have that foot up on teaching them young guys to get them ready for not just camp, but they're going to do it during the season, and what we're going to require out of them guys to be successful. Coach Meyer said, that for a couple in some ways, you're still like a rookie, even though you had those three big games. You know, you still have some things you can learn. Is that? Do you sort of feel that in some way, or do you feel like with the games that you have under your belt now, you're a grizzled veteran? No, I definitely don't feel like a veteran. I mean, I've been went through, I've been went through a full season. You know, I play, I mean, probably like, probably like four, maybe 500 snaps overall in my career. You know, so I understand what he's saying from that standpoint. But um, I mean, I'm three games. I didn't do anything on my own in three games, so. I, mean, I understand where Coach Meyer is coming from when he said that. Devin was such a big part of what you did in those three games. Has anyone stepped up in terms of replacing him as a deep threat? Um, a lot of guys that had the deep threat potential. And, um, but so far, you know, we just out here running around in shorts and uh, helmets. But guys like Johnny Dixon, Paris Campbell, um, Jalen Marshall, Corey Smith, me, that's four guys right there who really have that deep ball threat. And, uh, I mean, it's just all about who's giving us the best chance to replace that. So, how is uh, Tim Beck different from Tom Herman? Uh, it's hard to tell right now because he, he's still trying to fill us out. You know, he's still trying to get used to our culture here. He's still trying to, um, you know, find his somewhat niche. You know, but he's a great guy. He's a great coach. And, he, and he's showing us things that um, that Coach Herman showed us in different ways. So, it's always helped to, you know, have different looks and different standpoints on